What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name's Chad, my wife's name is Tiffany. We are from Gilbert, Arizona. We love working on cool rigs and taking them out on adventures. In this video, we're gonna show you how we got the Jeep hooked up to the Kodiak to be able to flat tow it to Colorado in a few weeks. I had recorded a bunch of video for this episode, but it has since been lost. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through and show you what we're using and how we have it set up. We went with the Blue Ox uh, tow bar. It's rated for up to 10,000 pounds. It's the aluminum one, so it's a lot lighter. All the lighting and safety chains are hooked up. We have the Blue Ox mounting bracket for the JK. That bolts right to the frame. And then if you look under the seat here, let me slide it forward. We actually went with the Invisibrake. So that's all tucked away nice. We don't have to set anything in the footwell to push on the brake. I did have to wire in some diodes in these back tail lights so that if I had the blinker on and I was hitting the brake, that the brake light wouldn't override the blinker on the Jeep. I did have to wire in another relay under this panel here, and what that does is it allows all the lights to work without the key on in the Jeep. So the only thing we really have to do is put the Jeep in neutral, and uh, as long as everything's hooked up up here, we are all ready to go. For those of you who have been around since we got the Kodiak, you know we've been having a lot of wiring issues with this thing. Um, we had replaced one half of the main engine wiring harness that goes to the glow plugs and the injectors. Well, we've still been having some low voltage issues, so I went ahead and ordered the other half of that main engine wiring harness. Comes over here to the TCM and the ECU. This fuse box gets replaced. The wiring goes down to the starter and back to a plug back here, goes over and down to the transmission and also connects um, the alternator and uh, some of the other things here on the front of the engine. So uh, I will show you on this other side where I found some wires that were burnt. So normally these two main plugs right here would be way down here on a bracket and they kind of loop around back and then go over the engine bay back over to that side. Um, so what I did is I took them off that bracket and I zip tied them up. I put a nut and a bolt back here and I just secured the harness all up away from the engine. I also put some header wrap on this hot side intercooler pipe and I'm just going to continuously double check in here that none of these wires are actually resting on this intercooler pipe. I'll go over and show you the old harness that I pulled out and show you where exactly it was uh, getting hot. Okay, so here is the wiring harness that we had pulled out. If you can see right here, um, this is the section that goes right over or under that hot side intercooler pipe. It is burnt through there and here. Um, didn't get into any of the wires here, but you can see there's some stuff shorting out. Turbo solenoid, some of the transmission speed sensors. Um, they were all intermittently having issues. So for you Kodiak guys, check this section of your harness. Um, that hot side intercooler pipe is definitely not in a good place. So, And with that guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much to everyone who's been following along and subscribing. We really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button. Drop your thoughts and comments down below. We'll see you on the next video. Later guys. Thank you.